gold behind us down that bit. Let's go down there, but it's like it's all closed off at the moment. There's a nice pub down there as well. You can sit outside. If I can go down there in a bit, I might just show you the golden hind. Yeah, look at this shame. Kind of spoils it a bit seeing all this barriers up everywhere. Yeah, I'm flipping out, it's closed. Let's cross over. That entrance there, I believe. Let's see. Oh no. Excuse me, Golden Hind is down that entrance, isn't it? Sorry, what? Golden Hind is down that entrance, isn't it? You don't know. <laughs> don't worry. She doesn't know. Mine is hardly any. You won't get many Londoners in London nowadays. I think, yeah, it is. It's, it's confusing because I've always I've been down there for a while. Yeah. Under there is the room. Um, that's the station there, London Bridge Station. station there. You alright? <laughs> nice day. Yeah, yeah, you can do, yeah, you walk down there along, follow the river along, the path. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, just walk down there. No worries. Anybody else been here with it? Done it for upset Henry VIII in those days. Yeah. Yeah. Right to right, to left. No, 
actually a good way of getting across it. Just walk it, it's just as easy. I think they're trying to put the bike lanes in now because I listened to um, the mayor and I think the whole lane now, while the traffic's low, they can put these, bus, these bike lanes in and then stop the traffic. Get a good view of it there. Look at that. That's a blinding view, isn't it? I'd love to have gone on that. Takes a lot of beating, doesn't it? Anywhere in the world. London's an incredible city. You know, you don't take advantage of it normally when you live here, but now we're doing this, it's getting out and about. It's good. I've been a tourist for you. Nobody else, for myself. Right, let's go inside the rock a little bit. Oi, 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 oi. Here. It's the Strand, and it's all theatre land. I'm sure if you're allowed to ride your bike along here, I think you are. It's a big land, isn't it? Best way to get about in London, you don't you can't drive a car anymore. I used to hate driving in London when I was working here. It's impossible, you can't park anywhere. So a bike or um, public transport is the only way to get about really. Which is a good thing, you get less pollution. I don't know how much them bikes are to hire, I don't think they're that much. A couple of quid, a bit, a bit of card in them as well. Let's have a look at them in a minute, let you know. Bring your own, like me, get a little portable bike. You can get ones now, you can literally fold up and put them in a bag, can't you? These um, electrical powered ones as well, they're really good. The batteries are built into the frame on some of them. That is a monument. See that? I'll show you. That there, that's supposed to be the height of the flame that the far London reached. It's a famous monument. Let's give you a view. Look at that. Oh, yeah, boy. Right up there, that's how high the flames went. I reckon. Let's go and see the sign. Right, there you go. Okay, Fred. That's your monument. A monument designed by Robert Hooke friars in consultation with Sir Christopher Wren it was built in 1671-1677 on this site of Sir Margaret's Fish Street Hill to commemorate the Great Fire of London in 1666. The fire burnt from, two to fifth, from the 2nd to the 5th of September devastating two thirds. Right okay we're on Tower Bridge now. I only walk down there look. Two minute walk up these stairs and I'll give you a picture of the map. I think I showed you, so you are here. There we are, look, Tower Bridge, right there. We're right here. I'm going to walk over there now, and then home. There's a lot more down there, some caffeine stock, but I can't show you everything today. Plenty of time. Let's walk over this now. This will be fun. All interesting. I saw a robot thing over there, it was like, um, where's it gone? Or cutting the grass with it. Let's see it. How much is that? That would be a small space. Put this back on the bike. There we go. How's about that then? This is Tower Bridge, the famous Tower Bridge. Actually, this is a fantastic time to see it. Oh, okay. 
Hagen. Let's ride a little bit. Do you, I don't know if you're allowed to ride on these parkways, but if I get told off, I get told off. These bollards haven't been there that long. Right, this is it. This is the famous Tower Bridge. Hope it doesn't open if I'm going over it. Remember the film John Wayne made where he drove over this, the tower was open and he jumped it in the 70s. Uh, what was it called? One of his last films, wasn't it? It's great to see it when it is open, I must admit. Here we go. It's the other side now. It's HMS Belfast from the other side. Let's just take my time. I'll walk it. Get a better, um, better look around then. Seems made of look. Suspension. you get a good view of it from that end and over wow the river's very choppy today look at that windy as well. I've said it a thousand times but it is. It's a nice breeze now. You're looking at some serious history here. There's your entrance. I think the shade a bit that opens. over it from the other end because um, it cuts out on me and the wind was really bad so hopefully from behind me the wind won't be so bad so I'll show you it again coming from this end this is the far end and hopefully I'll take a bit more time it's such a shame to be here and not see it properly and not hear it incredible view isn't it? Look at that. I can't keep the wind behind me. That makes a difference. There's the Tower of London again as I said. The Gherkin. Top of St Paul's Cathedral, the Shard. South Bank. I might scrap that noisy footage. I'll see what it's like when I get back. I remember that film now with John Wayne, I think it was called Brannigan in the 70s when he, the bridge opened and he drove his car and jumped it. Oh, well, he obviously didn't do it, but the stuntman did. Whether they actually really did it, I don't know. Whether it was trick photography or whatever. I'm not sure they had C CGI in those days. They probably really bloody did it. Let's try and 
shit wind behind me. Look at that. American Werewolf in London, there you go. <laughs> Big London bus. Actually, there's another thing I'll do. I will do Piccadilly in there another time. It's not far from here. Let's just chill out here for a minute. It's so lovely. That's good, the wind's behind me now, it's better. Leave my trusty steed there. What shall I name it? Just watch the air. It's so peaceful today, and the wind's not blowing in your face. Because I'm a Londoner and I think of her wherever I go, I get a funny feeling inside of me when I walk down that road. I love London town. Well, I'm a Londoner. I was born here. I was born in Lambeth, but I grew up in St Albans. But I came back when I was about 20. It's all in Lambeth Hospital. I've been here most of my life now, more than I was. I still love St Albans, don't get me wrong. When it was first built, the Tower Bridge was controlled from two cabins situated on the east side of each pier. These were originally built of wood but replaced with stone structures after World War II. Since 1962, due to the decline in the river traffic, any ship large enough to require Bascules to be raised, have to give 24 hours notice. It's alright, I'm going to mark my shift for here tomorrow. The Cutty Sark. The Cutty Sark, and that was a good ship. When I, when I first used to go there, before the fire, it was, um, as I said, it was raised, but it's not, it wasn't then, you could walk straight in, but it had so much history inside. So many mastheads from other ships. Because they used to raise them across the sea to get some tea, bring the tea um, commodities back. I think to the West Indies and places like that, and that was a fast ship at Cutty Sark. And um, they had great film inside of them. Um, it was still sailing, I think it was still sailing. It was about like 20, 25, one hundred years ago. Commodity, I think it was still sailing. That's another interesting place to have a look. Oh man, I was like that when I had my first pint. You always get a boy racer, don't you? He thinks he's Brannigan. <laughs> when the bridge opens, we'll see him jump it. I think it opens right there. See there, look. Is that it? Yeah, that's the bit there that you can see. It's a kind of joint there, isn't there? So if we go up between this bit here, there'll be two. It'll be like this one there. As that end comes up. That end comes up. So the boat could go under and clear it. I didn't hear it, we just saw this plume of smoke going up. That gherkin looks like a spaceship, doesn't it? You think it's going to take off? I think I should have called it something else. I don't think that gherkin's a very good name for it. Thunderbird 3 or something. I don't want to drop my phone in the river. It's a dirty old river, man. Dirty old... That song, Waterloo River. Waterloo Bridge. Dirty old river. You keep running. Well, it's cleaning, it was years ago, it was absolutely filthy. I still wouldn't fancy swimming in it though, eh? I don't think they put sewage in there anymore. It's a great night out. If you get a boat trip down here, I've done it many times. And it's party boats, they're fantastic. Go right along the river all the way up from here 
to the um, um, what's the name? I went down. Well, through Greenwich, up to the um, oh man, I think I'm getting dementia. What's it called? The dam. Uh, come back to me in a minute. Anyway, it's a long ride up the river. You see everything, literally everything. It's a fantastic night out. Let's go. I'm probably giving you too much of this now. Are you bored of it now, everybody? Probably. Better stand over here. Let's put my bike there. Right, I want to say thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's a long one, I know, but I'm going to try and edit it down. Um, there's loads more for me to do. I'm going to show you so much. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, you please subscribe, click the like button, and I'm sure I'll do more for you. If you've got anything, just leave some comments. Uh, and I'll try and film some more. If there's anything you want to see in London, just let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day. All the best. That's Matt signing off. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm just back again for a minute. I just came down to the bridge and tried to decide to sit down for a minute and get some air. Oh, it's nice sunshine still here. Up there, look, there's the bridge. Right. Yeah, cover yourself up, girl. See? How's that for a view? Yeah. So that was a bit of fun. I went all round. I mean, uh, there's a load more to do. Over there, St. Catherine's Dock. Oh, it's just endless, you know. You could spend a month here and still not see half a quarter of the stuff that's around here. It's a great place to come. I mean, we are so lucky. I don't even appreciate it, really. I never really hardly ever come over this end now so YouTube's done me a favour it's making me do things I wouldn't normally want to do well I would but you can sort of do it on your own as well which is nice when you're with someone else you're rushing aren't you normally like if I'm with Bill he wants to rush everywhere um, you know I'd like to bring Nim over one day, but I don't know how it's going to go between me and her at the moment. It's not good. I think we've come to an end. There you go. Yeah, I do. There you yeah. go. Top of the shard there. So, yeah. Anyway, as I say, thanks for watching. I'll sign off now again properly. Take care. boat for you there looks like an old um, water wheel boat what they call those things steamboat uncle very thin type boat <laughs> look at it chuk, 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 chuk. it's a charter boat you can go on that let's have a look Got river trips luxury charter boat <sighs> Thames Charter Butler's Wharf Pier. Bespoke Charter Conference Facilities, Celebration Cruise, Luxury Charters, Unique Floating Venture, perfect for any occasion. Let me get my bike. Party boats meetings. Yeah. Obviously you can see. Porter's Lodge. They've got um what was that one I saw up there a minute ago? Oh, An Ivy, you know, the Ivy restaurant, there's one up there. 
It's expensive. Look at this one. Le Pont de la Tour. That's nice. Yeah. Le Pont de la Tour. It's a big restaurant. Right, I'm going to carry on walking down. Dee -dee -dee. We're getting further down now, aren't we? Let's have a look. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come look at him, Mr. Wheelie. <laughs> He's gonna fall off. I used to do that when I was his age. Hey, nice one. This <laughs> one's an anchor, man. Wow. Holy moly, it's a moly. It's a nice little restaurant along here, little bar one, little bar one. The wind's really calmed down now, so it's great. Down by the riverside. I think it is. What have we got on this sign? Butler's Wharf, Design Museum, Brandon Museum, Shard Thames, Anchor Brew House, Thames Pathway, West. Oh yeah, you can go along there. There's a little bridge, look. Oh, that's cool. What does that lead to then? Boat. Oh man, this is it now, I think. I think I've hit the dead end. I'm right. Oh, bloody hell, what's through here? Someone's house, is it? <laughs> what the? Let's have a look. You sure there's a way through there, is there? Oh, there is. What is this? This is fun. Roll up for the mystery tour. Again, let's have a look. Down by the river side. Right. It's great little pathways and some rat runs everywhere. I know where I am now. 
now. Oh, that pedal's clicking away up a good one. Let's have a look at that. Have a look, get my bearings again. Blimey. Oh, I think I know I am. That looks like a uh, right at the back of the Elephant Castle. Is it? So, oh, right, yeah. I think I recognise it. Yeah. Make a road, yeah. I know where it is. Sorry, canal down that way. 